Cigar Show, part of the Crap Network, and with me as always is Brawleaf. Hi. Gay asses. <laughs> Punch. Punch it up. <laughs> and also a little Punch. You can't see him right now, but he's in Punch's ass. Yeah, hurts. <laughs> For the uh, second part of the review, he's going to come out and make a surprise appearance, if you know what I mean. Little Punch trying to talk? <laughs> <laughs> Not or I'm farting, I don't know. <laughs> Are you farting or is he uh, saying something? I don't know. I'm just trying to smoke him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I don't know if it's a shitty cigar. He's like gonna come out of your ass. Actually, no, I'm gonna, gonna use a different kind really? of ass. Yeah. Uh, little, thing. Thing. little punch comes with the shitty cigars. He <laughs> wants stuff that tastes like ass. <laughs> that little fucking ass, little fucker. Huh? <laughs> Did you lose your words there? No, he's a little bitch. He's an ass goblin. I had a yeah. burrito yesterday, so I'm confident that he's going to come out. Uh, Whether he likes uh, it or not. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be like a fucking water, a waterfall. <laughs> 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 Alright, this is a cigar review. And we're smoking the uh, Great Cliff. Yeah, believe it or not, Great Cliff's on craft cigar, but it's the G2. They also have a G2 Turbo, which is Maduro, but this is the Connecticut wrap. It's an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper with uh, Nicaraguan and Dominican long fillers mixed together. It's supposed to be a creamy Cuban sandwich. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> 250 a stick. Doesn't smell like it though. No. Gusto 5x50. It smells like a fucking barn. <laughs> yeah, I was telling these guys earlier, it's yeah, kind of so like some little bit of creamy. I think it's there. got a little bit of sweetness on the food. Maybe a, maybe a goat ate a fucking nougat bar or something and then oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was telling you, it's kind of like walking out to a fucking bar and smell manure and fucking see hay everywhere. Manure? <laughs> yeah. Manure is a little barnyard. I still yeah. have a personal beef with Grey Cliff over Cigar Fest from last year. Oh, yeah. But they're, they're supposed to be a high end brand and they, they put out the shittiest sticks oh, by yeah. by the far. They gave it was horrible. I saw them in the freaking garbage can. Yeah. <laughs> Before we even left Cigar Fest. Yeah. Well, George wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. He'd People. just be standing by the garbage can. <laughs> Let's just say we know somebody who actually picks out of the cigar tastings garbage cans for nubs. Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah, it's pretty we bad. We won't go into any more detail. Bleh. All right, we're going to, well, we, most of us already clipped this, but we're going to go ahead and light it up, start smoking it. When we come back, little Poncho will come out of Poncho's ass, and he might actually say something about his little experience he had there. We'll be back in a second. back. And we're smoking awesome. the Grey Cliff G2. Yes, that's right, Grey Cliff on Craft Cigar. They did make cheap ones. They make the G2 and the G2 oh, Turbo. The G2 is the uh, Connecticut wrap. Turbo is the Maduro version. And, uh... What the fuck? The um, fuck? Uh, oh, shit. Uh, and my label took a little bit of mine, too. We got a... Uh, you fucking glued it! We got a, a label ripping tobacco off of a cigar again. I'm afraid to take mine off. Great Cliff, you fucking glued it to the cigar. What the hell's your problem? I gotta say, the Great Cliff name, <laughs> I, I feel like the Great Cliff name has gone down a little bit. Yeah. Their, I think their reputation, they used to be like, like when I used to think of Great Cliff, I used to think of like super, super premium sticks. Like 15 to $20 range. They probably should have just stayed in that range. I think they should have, yeah. I don't think they should have even created a cheap one because that kind of ruins their reputation a little bit. I think it did. Well, so they well maybe out. they were, maybe they, well, maybe they didn't sell out. Maybe they were just trying to, like, you know, come up with a budget stick for people who couldn't afford to spend 15 or 20 fucking dollars for one stick. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. like Walmart sell it starter. Okay, went well, down we'll start with you then, Grey Ashes. True. <laughs> and Adidas. Grey Ashes. Do you think that Grey Cliff was successful in creating a good budget stick for a budget smoker? 
On that note, no. Good? Eh. No. Yeah, it's just meh. <laughs> it's... No. Nah, the flavors that we were talking about earlier that pretty much all of us are getting, we're getting like a... Uh, like a bitter... Uh, we taste like some type of like cream and nut in it, but... It's like a... <laughs> <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> no, it's pretty much like a hay taste, like a bitter hay Not taste. Cream. So. Nut cream. <laughs> <laughs> Just like gay asses likes it. Nut cream. He loves his nut cream. Creamy nut. <laughs> Broadleaf. Yep. Long asses. What do you think? And, <laughs> I mean, it's all right. Um. It's not the greatest, that's for damn sure. Um, this is my first Grey Cliff to smoke, uh, but I mean, it's also their cheapest by far. Yeah, it's my first Grey Cliff too. I don't like the fact that they glued the damn label to the cigar. It was kind of stupid. <laughs> you tell them, man. I did. I These are actually them. donated to us by Cigars International too. Really? A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> it's been in my humidor for about a year now, so. Damn. The thing is, they still taste like meh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you guys. I mean, they're not horrible. I but think that. Uh, no, they're not bad. Yeah, these aren't bad, but I'm not thinking diamond in the rough in my head right now. Well, hell no. No. I mean, it's not wild on me, but there's there's some uh, real 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 mild uh, flavor notes in yeah. there. Yeah. Some cream, some nuttiness. Maybe even like, I, I thought there was even at the at least at the beginning like some earthy like uh, maybe even toasty flavors. But taste it. <laughs> but uh, I tasted a little bit of goat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's getting down now, and like my, I'm noticing my wrapper's all spotty, and the flavors kind of just totally dropped out. Is it? Is it just? Yeah. Is it just me, or is it like? It's just you. <laughs> I'm, I'm noticing that I'm getting further down. The flavors is just like the cream that we were tasting is just is just like dulling out. Yeah, it's, it's, kind of it, it's, it's it's like more of like of a little bit, yeah. Like a, a dullness type of like it's getting more bitter. That's just getting. I think down. I don't think it's yeah. getting bitter. I think I, I'm starting to pick I've up more like any bitterness. Really, I'm I'm picking up more like empty smoke as it goes on. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's the best way to put it. Empty I smoke. think there's an ingredient in here that we didn't mention off of that. I think it's Nicaraguan goat hair. We <laughs> <laughs> forgot about that, yeah. <laughs> that was actually one of the Man. Cuban seed uh, Nicaraguan goat hair. <laughs> oh, shit. Little Punch, you got anything to add to this? Fucking troll you. Yeah, my asshole hurts, thank you. The G2 is so good, it makes me want to get the blender of the cigar BJ. Holy shit. <laughs> Man. Great boy should be paying this motherfucker. God, man. <laughs> he must have evacuated from Great Close ass before he went and punched him. <laughs> yeah. He wanted to be a star, you know, for the cast and roll and all that. Yeah. So, uh, a little punch, how was it up in uh, Punch's ass there, huh? It was fun once I traversed past the phony rock slide in the Velociraptor ambush. Fuck you, my ass is warm and hospitable. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the fucking journey to the center of the earth or something. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, journey to the center of the arse? <laughs> yeah. We're going to keep smoking this and Punch, and Little Punch, I'm sure, has a... Many more ass stories to tell us on those adventures. And we'll be back in a second. All right, we're back, and we're uh, finishing up the Great Cliff G2. <laughs> uh, okay. What the fuck are you a frog? Actually, <laughs> Gray Ashes over here is reviewing a um, uh, Marlboro. Was this light? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, shitty some shit. Tastes better than that cigar I smoked. Damn. <laughs> I don't know what you're that for. I don't agree. <laughs> I'm actually going to go yard guard on this one. Uh, overall, I didn't really get any kind of like nasty chemical ammonia taste you give a lot of these cheapies, so that was good. There wasn't really much of a bland taste either. There was a little bit of cream and nut there and some hay flavor, so nothing too powerful though. Not really complex at all. I would not call hey, it hey, hey. complex. So, <clears throat> 250 a stick. This would be a decent cigar to buy. Two fifty. If two fifty, 
if you want to, um, you know, smoke it while you're doing some yard work or something out in the, out in the yard, or you, you're doing something on the computer you don't want to pay attention to it or something, so I'm going to go yard guard on it. I think 250 a stick is a little bit too much to for this. Yeah, I, so. I think I might pay like a dollar fifty a stick for this. But, uh, a buck yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah, probably, yeah, probably I probably would spend a dollar fifty five. Dollar fifty five? Fifty five. Fifty five. Swing the shrub. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think that there's there's a few different uh, flavor notes in here. I think earthy would be a generous way to describe it. Is this a C note? This thing just fucking hissed at me. Yeah, <laughs> mine's been popping and hissing all the smoke. Uh, the uh, they were smoking snake eggs. <laughs> <laughs> the construction didn't actually hold up all the way through. It started to crack and. Especially once the label came off, so yeah. that was a bummer. But yeah, I, I stick with the yard guard. Yeah, and, uh, my my um, wrapper pretty much came apart. I'm getting close to the end of the cigar. I just had binder left. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I agree with these guys. You know, first starting off, it was like a taste of like nut and cream throughout, but then it turned into like a bitter type of hay tasting for me anyway. Um, but. <clears throat> Up until that point, the construction was fine. Um, that's all I gotta say. Yard gar. Aye, this be a yard gar. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Is this is a hesitant pirate review. <laughs> no, yard gar. That's all. It's a yard gar. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's not much to it. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't spend two fifty on it. I, I if someone gave it to me, I'd smoke it. I, I couldn't recommend picking it up yourself, but no. yeah. Yeah, I, w I don't think I'd ever buy this again. If it was in a sampler, it, I'd throw up my humidor in the back and let it sit for a while and then, you know. A year? <laughs> yeah, a year like I did. And, uh, you know, if I was like in the mood just to, you know, knock back a cigar but not really care too much, I'd probably grab this one. But when are you ever in the mood to do that? There's lots of times where I don't want to smoke a really good one. In the morning? Yeah. Well, that's in the morning, I don't want to smoke So you're saying you would smoke morning. that in the morning? It might, be, it might not be that morning. <laughs> a lot of times, I'll actually go for the cheapies for my dry bulb smoke. I don't want to smoke the really good one because a lot of times... You want to do that at home yeah. while you're relaxing. Yeah. Well, you so I'll smoke the cigar on the way home, but sometimes I, when I get here, I'm not finished with it. But I'm I'm done with it. I don't feel like sitting in the room and trying to finish it out. So you don't mind? Yeah, you don't yeah, mind yeah, I'll just, a fourth yeah. of a stick down. You yeah, know. I'll I'll put out like half a stick or a fourth of a stick or something. Yeah. And I don't really care that I spent like a dollar on it or something. Right, know, but not two fifty. Not two fifty, no. No. Yeah. I wouldn't go out and get these. If it was in a sampler or something, yeah. I wouldn't be pissed off about it. Right, I wouldn't avoid the sampler base sing you know solely on yeah, as long as there's other good ones. As long as there's yeah. right. Those all cigars like this. In the sampler, right, right. Oh, it'd it'd have to be a cheap ass sampler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have to be an ass sampler. Right? Yeah. All right, there you have it. Yardgar, Greycliff. Yardgar. At, at least you didn't get shitty as a shit, so you got that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> be happy you got that. Hey, and you got you got better than dark curve too. So yeah. <laughs> that's an accomplishment on this side. <coughs> it is. Just uh, be thankful you're not like Thompson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two fifty a stick. Uh, Nick two fifty. Two fifty a stick. Uh, two shitty. Yeah. <laughs> two shitty a stick. Uh, Nicaraguan and Dominican fillers. Uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut yeah. wrapper. So there you have it. Thanks for the donation, CI. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It took us a year to review it, but hey. Mm -hmm. At least we reviewed it. You got it in. This is long Thank ashes. You, <laughs> punch, gray ashes and broadleaf. We smoked the shit. And that little punch. And that little fucker there. What the punch. hell? Dude, he's covered in shit right now. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think you'd be able to see that in your house? <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm just saying. He leaves a poo trail. <laughs> I know, right? He leaves a poo trail. Are you trying to say that my smoking room looks like shit so he camouflages in? And That's what you're saying because you didn't see him. But I said, wouldn't you be able to see him? I think he had shit on because he came out of Punch's ass. Yeah. That's yeah. Best. I don't know that was recent. Alright. That's he's, about it. He's a little corny too. We're right. closing this out. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> we smoked the shit. So, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to.